And hello YouTube, this is GS Mouse Smart, and I'm today with a brand new video for Gaming with GS. Today's video we're going to be looking at how to farm for flax seeds and two key locations that really will help you get a lot of flax seeds without having to buy them. And that was weird, that tree just loaded to now. Well, I did just log in, so perhaps that's what happened. But anyway, we're going to be showing you two locations. The first location can be a little tricky, and you do need updraft gliding. And this is going to be in the Tangled Depths here. You only need the first waypoint here, so it's not very hard to get here. All you have to do is go from Arc Basin. You take this waypoint right here, the Clock Hollow waypoint, and the entrance is right here. And you should automatically get the first waypoint here. Uh, the, the second location is going to be in Verdant Brink over here. And it's going to be this waypoint right here. I'll show you. But if you don't have Arc Basin yet, well... To get Arc Basin, and why is this all loading so slow? I guess could I logged in, but Arc Basin, the entrance is right here. If you don't have that, and the waypoint will be right there. And if you don't have Arc Basin yet, then I think you have lots of walking to do. But anyway, Tangle Deaths, where you want to go is you want to jump down here. The thing about flax seeds is they're pretty expensive right now on the market, so they're good for making gold, but they're also good for uh, helping your guild make the requirements for the guild hall. Now you want to look for the green wall here, that's what I kind of look at, the green wall here, and then you can, oh look, on the way you can probably find some flax right here, here's some flax. So that's what they are, piles of flax seeds. It's something like five silver right now. And we're gonna jump up here on the side. And then up here. Then up here. And then the thing with here is just glide forward. And I fell. But like I said, this is this is the, this is the a little trickier one because it's not as simple as the Verdant Brink one. But let's try it again. So up here, and then there we go. So that's what you want to go on top of, and then you want to. Jump up here, and there's this little hole here that you want to go into. Okay, so we're back in the hole from my abysmal fail. I guess I can show you guys a second time. So you take this updraft right here, and you could actually go on top of here if you want. And the next updraft is this one over here. It's right in front, and then it's that one over there. It's like a little step up updraft, I guess. Okay, let me not fall this time. Alright. So, there's that. And then we want to head left. And jump up here. And there's mobs here. Hold on. Let me... Well, my fire is up. So... You can either run past these, well, I think you're going to have to kill them because they're over there. But this area right here is where the flax are. I'm going to try to kill these so I can show you guys. Alright, hold on, let's see. There's a lot of them. Alright, that went smoother than I expected. Alright, anyway, so if you hold down control on your keyboard, you'll see all the flax seeds around. There's a good like five or six or seven of them, maybe even. Uh, there's some over there too. Let's just kill this one so we can get them all. Alright. So, 
yeah, you just go around and collect them here. If you have a uh, gathering booster, this can also be a lot more efficient. Or if you have a uh, item booster, because they will give you a 33% chance for a second gather. And the gathering booster allows for more rare finds, like two flax seed. I think is much more rare than the one flax seed find. So if you have plenty of those, then use those. If you don't have any of them, it should be okay. Um, but yeah, it's just a matter of holding down control and seeing if there are any. And this you can really do it in the jungle in general, just hold down control and see if there are any. And I think there's one more over here. Please don't attack us. Thank you, I guess you saw your friends die. Alright, so that's one of the locations and as you see we got 10 of them. And if you, if you wanted to sell these in the trading post, you could. And if you want to list them... Oh, they went down. They were at 4 silvers. Well, you could sell these for 38 silver if you like. Easy. 38 silvers every day but there's a second location I'm going to show you and this is Inverted Brink over here which is let's go down to the main floor the section over here it's a waypoint over there and this will be Inverted Brink and you don't need any updraft for this you just need gliding you, you literally just need to fall down and there'll be a there'll be some flax when you fall down to the bottom. Hopefully the loading screen won't take so long since I'm recording and have audition open. Alright, so you wanna glide down to the corner here. Well not the corner, to the end here, it's right around there. So all you gotta do is oops glide down here and then just start falling. If you're scared that you'll hit something, just um, don't take this updraft. I just took it by accident. But yeah, you just want to fall down like this. And once you get to the bottom, the flax seeds will be there and as you see there are tons of them here and there's someone farming them as well so there's another like what six seven eight there so we got two there another one there another two there this is also a much safer one and you know if you can't reach the if you don't have the third map or you don't like have updraft. If you clearly don't have updraft, you can't get these. The first farm that I showed you, but this one you can get without any updraft, so it's a lot easier to get. And is that it? Yeah, that is it. And we have a total of 22. So you could sell these if you'd like, and you could make a good 84 silver if you sell them over here you can make good 88 silver so if you do this every day you can make a good 88 silver every day very easy it only takes about five minutes to go to these two locations or you could donate them to your guild hall because they do need them to make empty kegs i believe and you need 20 flax seeds to make one empty keg so if each of your uh, guild members does this you can easily make uh, one empty keg per person and the cool thing about this is you could do this on all your characters. So if you have four other characters that are level 80 and they have Verdant Brink explored, you can just bring them down here and just farm the seeds and go to Tangle Deaths. Guess what? You have 40 flax seeds for two characters. You'll have 80, not 80, 60 for three characters, 80 for uh, four characters, and you can make a good substantial amount of money or a good substantial donation for your guild. So that's about it. I just want to show you guys these two farming locations for flax seeds. Uh, I guess it's a way to make gold. I'm not going to title the video how to make gold though. I'll probably put it in the uh, making gold playlist. But if you're interested in making gold, I have plenty of other playlists and videos on how to make gold. I'll link that in the 
description on screen right now. But we're gonna make him more Guild Wars 2 videos in the coming future. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave it in the comments section below. I should have a specialization slash mastery video coming out in the next day or two, depending on how much I need to edit still. But that's it guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, I hope that this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, it'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment below as well and give some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well. And I usually try my best to answer those comments within the next 24 to 48 hours, depending on how busy I am. I also have plenty of other content on my channel about different gaming tutorials, as well as general gaming videos for Guild Wars 2, League of Legends, Minecraft, and any others that you may be interested in. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you see, you can subscribe too would really appreciate you can also check out my other channels and social medias that show on the screen right now and with that thank you so much everyone and this is gs man smart and i'll be back sooner than you think don't go anywhere